everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing how do they currently see you and this is mainly aimed at romantic relationships, it can be friendships as well. So let's get started in this reading and let's see how they currently see you. So we have group number one, two, three and four and let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have the card of surrender. <laughs> Just to put it straight, we have the card of surrender, okay? So this is the main message. I'm then gonna pull some tarot around this card. So for me looking at this, there could be two options that you're kind of sorting through. And it could be between two people, okay? So it could mean that you're not sure who you wanna to go towards. It could also mean that you're basically just stuck. Sorry guys, I have an itchy belly. Uh, you could be just stuck in a situation where you just don't know whether, what to do about it and it literally is just surrendering to that moment and understanding that it's okay and you are going to get through it and you will get the guidance that you deserve and that you will get okay and basically there's going to be a lot of emotions coming up because there's a new start coming so this could mean that you want to let go of somebody but it could also mean that the per how the person sees you is they are pretty much needing to surrender as well. I feel like both of you are mirroring each other. So what the best thing is to do is just to surrender to this moment. And the way they're seeing you is, they see you in a good light, but I don't know if this is the best relationship here. It doesn't feel 100% to me, the energy, okay? So let's see how this person feels about you, how they see you. Okay, how do they see you? So we've got air signs, we've also got uh, Cancerian here as well with a chariot. Okay, so exactly the same situation. This person sees you, they're kind of confused about you. They don't really know how to feel and it's making you confused. It's possibly taking your power away as well with this Queen of Wands. It could be making you feel like your power is being taken away. So it feels like this person is very confused by the situation and both of you may need to actually walk away. So even just have a break to get clarity, but for some of you it could mean to just completely walk away from the situation. It, it seems to be causing you a lot of stress and it could actually be between two people. It could almost be like you are attracted to somebody and your, your friend is possibly attracted to them and it may actually cause like an argument between you two. But it feels like very stressful it feels very very stressful and it feels like there is forward movement but there is definitely confusion and I feel like the best thing for you to do is just to walk away and surrender to this completely and just say okay I need to make a decision for some of you guys it's better if you just have a break and see how you feel about it but the way this person sees you is they see you as someone pretty independent I'm hearing someone that almost doesn't need you okay because they they feel like they want to move forward, but there's something blocking the situation, there's something blocking both of you from moving forward. And I feel like it's maybe because you're not meant to be with this person or not even meant to be with them yet, okay? It just feels very confusing and I'm hearing the word richness. That could be to do with something to do with money or it could just to do with this situation feels very potent and uncomfortable, okay? So that is your quick reading. I really hope this helps you guys. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see how this person sees you. We have nourishment in the reverse. Is this the reverse? Yes. So I feel like you may have been not looking after yourself. I feel like you're not looking after your body, your health, your, um, your mind. I feel like for you guys, the number seven is very important and number five. The way this person sees you, we're gonna have a look into the tarot and we're gonna see kind of what else we get in this situation. How does group number two is seen by their person? How is group number two seen by their person or situation? Queen of Swords, so how this person sees you is they see you as somebody who's got their shit together, like you've got everything sorted. And they see you as somebody who is possibly a potential partner. Both of you are very much you're both of you are quite different almost opposites and sometimes it can cause a little bit of disagreement but both of you have very strong attributes very very strong i feel like both of you are very very intense people possibly very intense personalities but i do see potential with this relationship situation or person 
when I say relationship, it can mean friendship as well. But I do see something happening. I do see something changing. How this person sees you is they see you as a potential partner, but they're not sure if they want to kind of take that on board yet, if, if this is to do with a partnership. They feel very closed off. or well, they may see you as somebody who's quite closed off. And they possibly want to move away from you. Let's clarify this six of wands. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they're trying to move away from something that doesn't serve them and move towards you. Okay, not move away from you. Some of you could be moving away, but I feel like for a lot of you, if you feel like there is some sort of love relationship here, I feel like he may be focusing on this too much to the point where you're not actually enjoying this. And for some of you, it could be a start of a new relationship and you could just not be enjoying it because you're thinking about it too much, okay? And it could be causing you to not be looking after yourself. So that's the message for some of you guys. And for others of you, it could mean that somebody's walking away from you because they have a job offer somewhere and it could cause you guys to have a different relationship with each other just because of this certain situation. But why this person sees you as I said is someone who's very emotional, very emotionally inclined, someone who's very in charge of their emotions, takes charge. And I do see a potential relationship here. We have the Queen and the King of Swords. So it could be a potential relationship coming in. I do feel like the answer is to just look after yourself nourish yourself and also have open communication guys that's what's most important okay and, it, and i'm hearing if this person isn't treating you right then you need to let them go let them let them fly away <laughs> let them let them go okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you very soon much love bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so let's see how your person sees you we have dark moon the void Wow, so you guys have been going through a lot of stuff. We have number one though, so this is the start of a new chapter. Could just feel a little bit sad though. We have the strength, yeah. So just having the strength to get through this sort of situation is, seems to be quite difficult, making you feel very uncomfortable. Ace of Swords, King of Wands. So there is somebody who has their best interests at heart. I feel like this person's actually a really good catch. They seem to be somebody who's pretty interested in you and you're interested in them so what's this void about i feel like you just have a lot of stress at the moment and i feel like this situation is making you just feel confused yep that's it you're ending an old cycle that's why you're so unhappy and confused so i feel like this person has come in and you're almost in a really bad place and you're like i don't know if this is the right person for me but they are the right person. And we've got the King of Wands as somebody who's very established and somebody who's very passionate about you. And they're gonna offer communication towards you at some point in terms of, I feel like this person's very mature, they're very balanced. And I feel like they possibly even want to move in with you for some of you, okay? So you, they see you as a potential partner. They see you as somebody who is very, very established, someone who wants to build a career with them as well. You could actually want to build a career with this person. But you're confused whether this is the right person. They keep giving you the signs and I feel like you are just confused by the relationship. But I do see this person really does want to go towards you and if this is resonating, then that's perfect. So I do feel like this is the more balanced group out of all of them. I feel like this person really likes you. They see you as somebody who's very strong. They see you as somebody who loves travel and possibly wants to travel with you. And they see you as somebody who, who is very generous as well, very kind, very honest. And you're just doing your own thing, you know, you're just working on your own stuff. And don't feel bad about it. If you need to take some time away from this person just to focus on yourself, then do it, you know, because it will cause you to feel much more accepted by yourself because you've got that space just to think and just to do do things by yourself there we go gorgeous that's what i said so yeah exactly so once you've gotten through this hard time you're going to be going into a much gorgeous more gorgeous time and you can be with this person and you can be more comfortable with this person once you've come out of that and it could be how they it could be what they're going through as well they could be feeling a little bit unhinged a bit unbalanced a bit confused but I do feel like this is going to change, guys, and I feel like there's going to be a, a, a renewal. And we have number one as well, so there's going to be a new start, okay? I'm hearing just new start and change right in front of my face. Yep, start and change. I'm seeing someone, like, putting the gas cooker on, like they're pressing the ignition and they're turning the thing to, like, light it up. So it's almost like uh, there isn't enough gas to, like, get it lit. 
right now, but there will be at some point, okay? Basically, it's just you're feeling a little bit low, running a bit low, so just be really kind to yourself and it's gonna be fine, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading and let's see how your person sees you. So we have power and we have change in reverse. I do feel like these are upright, so I'm gonna move these upright. So we have power, full moon and change. Wow, that is stunning, stunning. Okay, so let's have a look in the tarot. I've got a really itchy nose. Okay, sorry guys, sometimes spirit itches my nose, so it's not always unusual. Beautiful, Knight of Cups. This is really positive. I feel like this group is gonna be a positive one. This feels like a new relationship for some of you, a new friendship, a new something, a new something or other, yeah. Okay, let's see what else we have. The Six of Swords. Three of Wands, <clears throat> the Emperor. So you could be in a new relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, an Earth sign or an Air sign, specifically Taurus or Aries. Sorry, there's something on my table. Um, Taurus or Aries. Very strong character. This person's very mature. Like, they're very like um driven they're very driven charismatic five of five of cups there could be two people that you're deciding over um this person sees you though as somebody who's very strong and they also see you as somebody who knows what they want they see you as somebody who yeah knows what they want and and you create change you know they see you as someone very powerful they want to be with you what's this situation all about here Right, so there's definitely an ending of an old cycle. So you could actually have two people. One person who is like an old, possibly an ex or a friend who you possibly need to just let go of to move into this new situation. And then you're gonna feel very content. Because so, there's a little bit of disruption here with the Five of Cups and the Seven of seven of Wands and with the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like I need, I'm hearing I need to cut you off. So it could mean that there's somebody who you need to cut off and they need to be gone basically for you to, to enter into this new relationship. Um, it could just mean that you need to let go of old thoughts that aren't your, aren't really yours anymore. They're like thoughts, sorry guys, I think I touched the microphone. Um, they're thoughts that are controlling to you and they make you feel really uncomfortable and not good, okay? So there's definitely a minimum of change. So whatever this change is, I feel like it's extremely positive, extremely powerful. And with this full moon, this is also showing me that the next full moon, I feel like is when you'll possibly let go of this person or when something will drastically change within your connection with this person, okay? And within your love life, I feel like it's gonna drastically change. Um, either you're gonna be separated or together, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna come together because we have the nine of cups. <clears throat> whatever the whatever the situation is where you're gonna end up the most happiest, that's what we're going towards, okay? So that's absolutely beautiful. So if it's for some of you, you want a relationship with this person, I do see it. If you don't want a relationship, you think, no, I think actually not being with them will make me extremely happy, then that is what you're going towards, okay guys? So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon, much love. Bye.